that. But um, I can tell you what, it was such a fun game to be involved in, and it's such a, a, a great team, Gonzaga. But um, you know, me there, me not there. Um, you know, I'm sure the guys always give a. a 100% effort all the time, and um, you know that's what happened at Gonzaga when they went down by six. Into the corner, Hunter who's had the hot hand. Sam Han has that one roll in, He's shooting 57% from the field. But as your coach was telling us yesterday, Randy Bennett, he likes every shot. Yeah, indeed, and, and Omar taking shots like that, he's, he's a big part of the team, and if we can get it down low to him, um, you know, let him do what he does, and we have other people, you know, cutting off the post, and he's a good passer as well. So um, yeah, he's a big part. Patty, are you targeting? You know, is what I can come back to. Patty, recently you and Ben Allen, one of your partners from Down Under, spoke at Camino Pablo Elementary School to a third grade class. Actually, it was Ann Shreve's third grade class. And tell our viewers a little bit about what that experience was like. Yeah, it was a great experience for me. You know, I love, I love kids, and I and I love, um, you know, getting the opportunity to go back and thank thank all the people that have given the, the amount of support for us. And it was a great opportunity to go and and you know read books to them and um, really get get to know them. So it was, it was a great opportunity. Saw some kids with the flair for the artistry as well. There, some future Picassos or Van Goghs looking at that jersey. Better penmanship than we've got, I can tell you that. Some of these kids. Yeah, they had they had great handwriting actually. Valentine's wishes for you, so you've got a lot of uh, a lot of young fans and wishing you the best. Some of them were adorable. They were like, "Did you slip and trip on something? Did someone throw something underneath your feet?" Great stuff. The kids just love you. Bolden outside here. We're tied at 27. Visiting with Patty Mills, the star of St. Mary's. As you can tell, a very humble young guy. St. Mary's on the attack now. Yeah, it's also an important time for, for Australia and the Australian community all, all around. Um, we've got the, the Victoria bushfires happening at the moment, so you know I'd like to take the time at the moment to um, to send out condolences to, to the people in Victoria um, on behalf of of the Australians here at St Mary's, but also you know the whole St Mary community and um, you know send out our, our wishes, best wishes for them, and hopefully they recover um, really well. Simpson bullying in returns another one. That one goes. Samhan has it stripped away from him. Goodson, the freshman, going one on two, a nifty spin for the bucket. And Gonzaga has the lead. That hasn't been said much here in the first half, 29 27. Well, the Zags on the run, and we're going to have to. Here at St. Mary's, as Heitfeld has it outside the three. And Goodson will set it up. Patty, we want to thank you for coming on. You've got a bright future, not only at the next level in basketball, but someday as a broadcaster. You may be taking my job. That was my goal coming in tonight. I hope to, hope to take Steve Lavin's job. <laughs> it was a pretty good audition, I'll tell you. Flying colors you passed with. Uh, I know Mike Krzyzewski said about you when he was coaching the U.S. Olympic team that you burned for 20 in Beijing. He said, I'm just glad Mike Duke's team doesn't have to face Patty Mills because he's going to the NBA and that'll be the next stop for you. And I want to know where he gets your threats. There is some sharp looking GQ zapper. Yeah, you know, when I'm not when I'm not in my basketball uniform, I like to, to you know, make sure I'm all sharp. Daddy, thanks so much for the visit. I'd shake your other hand, but we want that one to heal properly. Left hand shake is, is what I'm learning. Take care. Thanks thanks very much. Thank you. We'll be back at St. Mary's in just a moment. And the pace has really picked up here in Northern California on a Thursday night. Here at St. Mary's, Gonzaga has surged in front 31 to 30. They've been trailing lab most of this first half. Well, the Zags in the midst of a 21 to 12 run as they have moved out in front of St. Mary's. And Bolton starting to get the hot hand, which is vital. He has 11, and in fact leads all scorers. Simpson deep into the corner. Diamond Simpson out of Hayward, California. O'Leary will back it out now. O'Connell directing traffic for the Gales. Trying to go to 10 and 0 here at home. They knew they were gonna have their hands full here tonight, especially without very charming Patty Mills, we had a great visit with him. Boy, is he polished? Just a bit. Hunter draws the foul in the act of shooting the three. Well, it's the same spot on the floor where he's been hot all night, dialing up the three balls. So he will get three shots. Well, and the cardinal rule here is don't foul a jump shooter. And Dimitri Goodson, the freshman, did exactly that. His second. So three opportunities here. Hunter at 61% at the line, not his favorite spot, but looks good on the first one. They redshirted him last year. 
Hunter stepping up productive evening thus far. And if you're going to upset a team when you're down a player like Patty Mills, you're going to need some unexpected contributors. Sam Han and Simpson, both double-double players on the front line for St. Mary's, but it's important that Hunter and some other players step up and join the party. Another good one here in rivalry week on the West Coast between Gonzaga and St. Mary's. And he made all three. Already 13 points for Wayne Hunter. And that ties a career high. And if you're Randy Bennett, you have to explore, use the ingenuity or resourcefulness to find a way to generate points offensively, to get stops defensively. And you have to adjust when you don't have the speed, the quickness, the intelligence of a Patty Mills on the floor, no longer in the mix. Heifel looked for the hook shot off his hand, but he got it back and flipped it up. Soft touch there on the jump hook along the baseline. That's a tough angle. On the second one, yeah. That qualified as a shot. The first one that rolled off his fingers. O'Leary well, zips the pass for Simpson. Very athletic attempt, and he'll draw the foul. He's been living at the foul line. Hit there by Ira Brown, a 6'4 senior. Rivalry week continues on ESPN on Saturday. And first at noontime Eastern. It'll be Georgetown and Syracuse. The Hoyas put a licking on the orange at their first meeting at a 9 Eastern. Saturday night primetime, Ohio State against Wisconsin. Right now, are the Buckeyes in the NCAA tournament? Well, if they can win their home games, finish above 500, they'd like to crawl back into the race. I think Michigan State in front now, favorable schedule. They do have two remaining games against Purdue, but I see the Spartans winning the Big Ten championship. They've got so much balance, both inside and out. And Tom Izzo would like to get his first Big Ten title since 2001, a little eight-year drought here. Even at 33, Heitfeld in the lane. Had to get creative with that shot because Simpson is such a good defender. Did not give him any ground. Yusef Smith kicks out for O'Connell. Let's see if the Gales are wise enough to keep playing through the interior. Explore. Smith will fire it up. Yeah. Why not? Senior out of the Bronx cashes in. So much for feeding the post, playing inside yeah. out. Just launch a three. Fired up from 25. Feeling it. Four and during the rematch between St. Mary's and Gonzaga, play has been tough and spirited, including a double technical and 19 fouls in the first half. The lead has changed hands on nine different occasions. And Patty Mills, the Gale star, forces the bench with that wrist injury, and then came on to take Lab's job. <laughs> we had a great visit with Patty, and a terrific first half. We're tied at 36, Thursday Night Showcase, presented by T. Rowe Price. It is all part of Rivalry Week, presented by Cisco. Back and forth we went. Both teams started to heat up lap in the late stages of that first half. Well, they did, and they did it in combination of ways. They got themselves to the foul line where they were eight for ten, four or six from the three-point line, and most importantly, they pounded the ball down low. They outscored St. Mary's 14 to two in the 